I'm Hi. Teresa from Teresa's Reviews, and you Hi. are Andy DeEmini? Yes, I am. Good to meet you. So you are the director of Four Kids and It. I just watched it, and I thought it was super fun. I'm waiting to show my kids, so we're going to watch it like on our big TV. How old, how old are they? They are 10 and 7, and they love adventure movies, magical creatures. The perfect age. The target I order. I wouldn't share spoilers while I'm, you know, interviewing you. They're really excited, and I feel like it's so relevant right now with everything going on watch this movie about escaping through literature and like using a story as a way to like go on an adventure and bonding with siblings and family and even like family conflict and how you can work through it and get along in the end. Awesome, you know, themes to be thinking about right now. Can you tell me some fun facts about making the movie? Working with kids of different ages, it's quite a challenge. Different processes with different ages. So there's always moments that Ellie Mae, who's five, she was great engaging but at different days different moods and different feelings so it was you know you had to be quite fluid and have quite a lot of sweets in your pocket but we uh we had a scene getting on a train uh, and this was at night so we had to middle of the night hire a huge train and a big station hundreds of extras a big setup and just as we're getting there she whispers to me i don't like trains i don't want to get on the train you know, and we, we had this <laughs> about 45 minutes of the train's fine it's really really safe no I, she didn't like it she didn't like it and once you get on within five minutes she's running around on the train off the train on the train you know it's all gone you've got to be very patient and just go with the flow because you're in their worlds and i think you've got to keep a very relaxed atmosphere to get the kids to really let go so it wasn't very stage school teeth and smiles it was very relaxed and natural and so the creature, is it a puppet or how are these kids and other actors interacting? Is it a, like a green screen animation actor? I think it's very important to get that connection between the kids and the creature. Essentially, we recorded the voice beforehand. So we'd got it all set and now we could electronically trigger those lines. So we had at times a puppet that looked very like the creature. We had a little robot that, where it got to move on its own. And we had an animatronic at one stage. Mm -hmm. So we always tried to put as much in front of the kids as, they, as we possibly could so they could really connect to it and believe it and like it. And they did really connect to it. And then we really embellished it with the skin of the creature in the end. It was trying to get that connection, especially to a five-year-old, to hold a conversation. You know, two ping pong balls on a stick wouldn't really do it. She needed to see a face and needed to talk to her and then she was just transfixed. But it was uh, yeah, part of that process. And there's so much talent involved there in order to get kids to connect and to show their performance and to just be happy because, I mean, that's the process in and of itself. I'm a parent and a teacher myself, so I can kind of understand. But you were able to really bring these kids out and they bring a lot to the set too. Yeah. I mean, essentially, though, there are big stars around them. You know, those those four kids and especially the two older girls really carry this film. So they'd really got to connect. I mean, the, the, the only real problem we had is that they got such tight friends. All four of them became this inseparable unit. And at certain times, we got to play that they didn't like each other. And that, you know, to really talk, to talk them backwards into that, that they this is how they felt. And... You know, because they really just want to be, you know, holding each other and holding hands and, you know, together. So it was an interesting process of pulling them apart for different moments. But they were very fluid and flexible and didn't have any fixed ideas. So they just went with it all. And they were really open and, and incredibly talented for four kids. We were very lucky. So. And you've worked with puppets before, right? Quite a few puppets, creatures, werewolves, different things. So I, I, I'm sort of fluid with that end of it. And I've done quite a lot of kids... I didn't necessarily put them together before. <laughs> uh, and then I've done a lot of straight drama and comedy. So it's sort of playing with lots of things. I, for me, that laughter and tears and getting that touching moments and then releasing that with laughter is what I love when you find that in the script. And this had loads of that. What are some inspirations that you have? I started as a sculptor, initially making puppets and that sort of thing. And there was this TV show with uh, political cartoons, which actually was starting again in September called Spitting Image. I love the the form and the shape and the photography but I suppose over time I've been much more taken with storytelling and internal performance you know then the journey a, a character goes through a good script has that and a great shape to it and moments of lightness and darkness and shade and so on and so you look for all those moments combined. Can you tell me more about the experience of shooting the movie um, and being in such a beautiful location? Well a couple of years ago I did a, a film about 17th century smugglers and for that we were looking for these sort of secret coves and beaches to 
to smuggle things for filming. And so when I read this script, it wasn't initially on a beach, but it needed to be a hidden space that you could only get through to a tunnel. And I remember this beach that I found in Ireland. So we went and looked at this beach and everyone fell in love with it. And then we realized this, the film is very dependent on sunsets and sunrises for the story. So the weather was going to be key. And we'd chosen to shoot in a really wet country. <laughs> it rains a lot. But actually, the you know, everything was with us and the weather was great. And we got the sunsets and everything. So it was a beautiful location for that. It's so far from anywhere in Cornwall. Whereas in Ireland, you can, we were shooting out of Dublin, which is 20 minutes to this beautiful little beach. So it was perfect really for us. You know, so the weather got very challenging. Children's hours, we had doubles and triples of children at times, which got very confusing where you see three mortars and running around. And <laughs> so combine that with the special effects. And we pushed a lot of new technology. We were flying drones a lot and that sort of thing. Yes, it was challenged every aspect really of filmmaking which was great. And everyone sort of rose to that. And the, the kids were able to keep up with some schoolwork. We had a few weeks of crossover. And as you know, you have to bring chaperones and we do schooling hours. I think the difficulty was they were such tight friends. They were allowed different hours on set. So sometimes the little Morty would have to leave set earlier than the other kids. Uh, we had to be very gentle with her with that. <laughs> but I want to stay with them. You're not allowed to. Were some of the kids American and some of them British? Yes, we, we started with Ashley, bizarrely. She came through a, a casting director I knew and we met her and the enthusiasm and the energy. And the book isn't written as American. And actually, Morty isn't American. She was um, She's English. So we did a, a, a whole voice session with her. She's like a sponge, though. At that age, I think children can be. They hear it. That, you know, comes in and out. So she was very malleable for that. We did a lot of school casting and street casting and uh, Teddy came up, and Billy, they were tremendous. So, so it's getting people, kids that could just be. What was it like working with Russell Brand? I mean, he's, he's such a, Russell is such a force of nature, really. Yeah. Um, and I, I like a bit of improvisation. So it, that worked really well for me and kids were quite fluid and they could play with it. So we, we span off the script and on the script. But he's one of the funniest men I've come across, and he just makes you laugh. He often turn around and members of the crew on their ass laughing. You know, he's so funny uh, and, a, and such a lovely man. He was so great with the kids. And he adds a lot to the story. It's a funny part. Well, thank you so much. I can't wait to share this movie with my family and to tell everybody at Teresa's Reviews more about it. Great. I hope they enjoy it. Thanks very much. Nice talking to you.